Yo, yo, what up? It's Jane Money. M Dog representing Tahini Sauce. Smitty G in the house. And we're here to lay down a fat beat. Sick, boy. Yeah. Y'all heard about the Olympic Games. But there's much more to it than the glory and fame. They bring out the best and they bring out the worst. They make people cheat and they make people hurt. Here are, are the most delicious scandals, the infamous moments you think you can handle. First we meet Mr. Fred Lorsen, who in 1904 cheated because he was sore. A marathon's nothing if you don't go all the way, so why was his manager driving him all day? Fred, if you were tired, should have called it quits, because after the race, you were joking a disgrace. Lucky for us, he gave up the gold, but unfortunately for him, his story's been told. Still, still, ola, clap, 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 goes around, comes around like a big fat slap. Don't dare call your opponent a man, if yourself are the Jew. Say one, two, three, four, skin. This less shocker in year 36 where Hitler tried to show the world his magic tricks by proving the Aryan race to be superior who should have known that skills are under the exterior. Appearance after all is only skin deep and Jesse Owens was the man to keep while the world held its breath. Owens won the race with style and poise and American grace. Too bad for the Fuhrer's ideology was wrong for black Jesse Owens was Munich swan song. Fender skater Miss Nancy Kerrigan, whose knee was busted real bad, couldn't get up again. With a vicious attack at the championship, her precious dream of gold had drastically slipped. But she made it to the Olympics all the same, despite Tanya Harding, who Nancy Kerrigan made. But she won the silver, she beat the game, but Harding started to ace, which was totally lame. I guess life works out in funny ways. Tanya Harding's loss must have made Kerrigan's day. Now this one's the first Olympic history, but how it happened is not a mystery. The judges took bribes from the state of Utah. Their own members were their fatal flaw. Mark Holder revealed they each got a mill and stuffed their pockets with sweet green bills. Utah got the games in 2002, but now those expelled judges got nothing to do. Our rhyming fat beats and in Salt Lake City where the Olympic judge has made an itty bitty mistaking giving Russia gold the gold in dual figure skating where Canada sold. The show with the bliss and everyone's love except the judges who hadn't been above. The pressure to vote for Russia. Say what? They made a bias decision that couldn't make the cut. But eventually Canada got pro gold and the poor Russian skaters must have felt real cold. Come to the end of a tale. Cheaters have won and cheaters have failed. We all know it's a crying shame when scandals occur. Then the blame game. This is not what the Olympics are about. Scandals bring out the hate and they bring out the doubt. Honesty and fair play win or loss. That's what an Olympic medal costs. And what about the athletes who come this far, competing all their lives trying to raise the bar? Cheaters, do you think it makes you better than them to go for the zero instead of 10 out of 10? Zeros ain't heroes, I can tell you that. It's not a rumor, it's a god given fact. And while we'd love to dismiss you all, the truth is we all like watching you fall. Your loss makes an honest win all the more sweet, and we all know true victory just can't be beat.